Looking to bolster up your Madden squad and need some coins? Head on over to AOEAH.com and use code AJG for 3% off. What's going on guys, Astro Jack here bringing you some Ghost of Madden past Devin Hester gameplay. Devin Hester just had an insane game for me. Um, I actually scored five touchdowns with him and it was wild. Uh, you guys will be seeing that in the gameplay. Um, but let's go take a look at Devin Hester's stats. You know, one of the fastest uh, returners of all time. Um, so we've got him at 99 speed, at 95 jump, 96 catch, 94 catch in traffic, 93 spec, 96 short, 96 medium with a 96 deep. Um, so the reason why his stats are super boosted, um, I am running a theme team, uh, and Devin Hester, if you guys, uh, use your season one, um, you know, you had a choice between Devin Hester or Junior Seau, if you guys had Devin Hester, um, all you have to do is grab his 95 Ghost of Madden card, upgrade it, and, uh, you do get him up to 90, uh, 96 overall, and, uh, the reason why his speed is so high is I got plus two from the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, 50 out of 50 chem so that's 97 speed plus the strat boost that I run uh, for wide receivers that's 98 speed and then of course um, I do have the Vince Lombardi stat which gives plus one to all ratings uh, therefore he's got 99 speed um, and as you guys can see uh, that also helps out with his uh, other route running as well too um, he's 5'11", 190 pounds, 74 strength, 98 agility, and 99 acceleration. This card is super fast, guys. Um, I don't really know how it's going to be uh, when the Vince Lombardi strategy expires. Uh, I guess we'll see how that goes. But for the meantime, Devin Hester is a speed demon for sure. Um, he's got 90 carry, 62 truck, 98 change of direction, 94 ball carrier vision, 96 spin, 97 juke. Um... Yeah, I haven't really, I didn't really spin and juke with him. I mainly used him as a deep threat, um, wide out, um, you know, bringing him on the deep routes. He's also got 97 break tackle. He broke some tackles for me, but don't expect him to break a lot. Even though 97 is high, he is 5'11", 190 pounds. And, you know, unfortunately, sometimes uh, if you've got a bigger guy on you, you'll be able to take down the, the, the smaller guy in this game. So uh, just watch for that. Um, yeah, so in terms of route running, He's pretty good. Um, I put route tech on him, so all of his routes are pretty uh, pretty good. Um, Speed-wise, absolutely uh, super fast. And, uh, you know, definitely a card that everyone should have on their team. I've got Yakim up for the abilities. I wasn't really able to trigger this, but you guys could also put on things like double. Uh, probably not double him because he is on the shorter side of wide receiver. You could also put rack him up or ankle breaker if you guys like doing moves. I personally don't really do moves with my wide receivers as much. Um, I kind of just, uh, you know, let them run their routes. Uh, for the first slot, I've got route tech. Um, you know, you could also put outside apprentice depending on what you guys want. Uh, I'm actually like... I'm actually broke for AP. I think I'm um, 14 out of 14 right now, so I have like no leeway for adding any of these at all. Um, but I definitely would put wide receiver apprentice on uh, second second slot. And then here, I believe he gets a vase. Actually, he does not get evasive. That's actually surprising. I actually thought Devin Hester would have got evasive. I'd either put spin cycle or jukebox um, if I had the AP as well. And then for chems, um, so like I said guys, if you have the season one collectible, you should be able to have all 32 uh, chems, um, all 32 team chems. But the problem is if you guys use the Devin Hester chem, um, you'll only, uh, the, sorry, the Devin Hester power up. All you guys get is Chicago Bears chem. So just a little clarification there for you guys wondering, hey, why does he have Pittsburgh Steelers chem? That is why. And you can see at the bottom there, it says S1 for season one. And uh, yeah. So Devin Hester uh, currently going for about 300k. That is his 95 uh, Ghost of Madden card. Uh, you know, bit pricey, but still, um, for those that are on a budget, yeah, it sucks. About 300k is kind of expensive, but he's still. I think in the end, he's really worth it because if you run a theme team and uh, upgrade him with uh, the season one uh, player item. You know, 99 speed. You definitely need it right now because everyone has 99 speed defense when it comes to the DBs and corners. So, Devin Hester, a very good 
um, upgrade in my opinion. Uh, go get him if you are a Bears fan, a Devin Hester fan, or if you simply need a 99 speed wide receiver on your theme team. Hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Let's get into it. <laughs> 